All right, Pisces, welcome. So Pisces, this is going to be your June reading. I'm doing something special this month. I'm combining the you versus them with the spiritual general readings. So we're gonna start off with the spiritual portion and then we're gonna jump into the detailed you versus them love reading. If you're only interested in the you versus them, feel free to click the timestamp in the description box below and it'll take you straight there. Otherwise, let's see what we have coming in for you, Pisces. And we have the card of Taurus. Some of you may be connecting with Taurus or have that in your chart. Um, this is talking about taking good care of yourself. I heard better care of yourself. Some of you needing to take better care of yourself. But this also talks about being practical, patient, down to earth. Sometimes this can also go towards a little bit of a possessiveness. So be careful with that. Um, or overdoing it, like overeating, over drinking, over whatever. So be careful about pushing your limits, right? Everything in moderation. That's what my mother always said growing up. <laughs> Everything is good in moderation, right? Um, <clears throat> but it's a very pleasure, pleasure driven, pleasure seeking um, type of energy here, incorporating more pleasure into your life. And I'm not talking about empty pleasures okay things that you think are going to make you feel better but ultimately make you feel worse be careful about that again i'm getting uh, some messages about overindulgence but especially if you have taurus in your chart but you also have the six of cups here with the eight of swords which is talking about emotional support uh highlighting family and relationships and then the eight of swords which talks about hidden truths restrictions self-limiting beliefs okay so a little bit of that going on some of you have some old self-limiting beliefs that are in your way so to speak pisces so to get to the root of what that may be you have to ask yourself what thoughts do i think on a daily basis and which of those feel good and which of those do not feel good see we think we have like all these dynamic thoughts you know, like our thoughts constantly change. But if you really think about it, you probably think about the same seven to ten topics, if if that many, maybe even less, every single day. Because most of us are uh, creatures of habit, meaning our daily schedules are very similar, you know, day to day. The things we think about or that we have interest in are... Um, the same almost every day, you know, so it's like, um, pay attention to those. So they're wanting to highlight that your daily habitual habits or thought patterns, which of them feel good when you do them and which of them don't and start moving towards, uh, more towards the ones that feel good. Okay. All right. A little life pack for you. All right. So we have the card of integration, uh, friendliness, experiencing and aloneness. So this is really interesting because here on one hand, it's like getting ready to, um, integrate new things into your life, but also some of you new friends, new friendships, new connections. Um, maybe even some new experiences, going somewhere new, changing a daily habit or thought pattern. And then you have the card of isolation and aloneness. So it's almost like some of you are in the space of like wanting to incorporate more into your daily activities or into your life um, and have new experiences. But then at the same time, you also really value your alone time and wanting to be alone, especially on the days where you're Maybe your thinking, you're not feeling so good, or your thinking is not necessarily in the right place. So let's go further and see, Pisces, what else you need to know as we go through June into July. I, I know I label these June readings, but it's 30 days. It's about 30 days. So whenever this reading is published, that's when it's meant to find you is whenever you find it. But I have to title it something. So people get so caught up, caught up on that time frame. Listen, time is an imaginary illusion. 
We only ever have the present moment. <laughs> All right, let's go into the head space and the heart space. And then the big spiritual picture, the chariot. Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, there's the Nine of Swords again. The Six of Swords. So the first song I heard was Come Sail Away. Come Sail Away. Um, maybe some of you feel like sailing away. I don't know. <laughs> so you have, it's interesting here, Pisces, because you have the Chariot which is talking about travel and movement forward. And it's paired with the Four of Pentacles, which is kind of like this holding back, fixed, not moving energy. So uh, they're showing me a head banging against the wall. It could feel like that, you know, like you're banging your head against the wall, especially when it comes to a certain family member, friend, lover, whatever. I feel like this is around... Uh, primarily relationships but for a few of you it could shift into the work environment where it just feels like you're constantly hitting roadblocks or every time you think there's going to be movement forward there's something that holds you back and it's feeling frustrating and stressful um, and yet underneath all of this seeming seemingly stressful scenarios there is the ace of pentacles which is um, opportunities to advance to grow oneself one's career or possibly uh, a relationship so it's like there's there is I'm sorry I'm getting so many different words there's nothing impossible that's what I heard sometimes the seemingly impossible is possible and I'm also getting a song lyric from um, I don't remember she says go deep baby Oh my gosh, I've gotten a song for you before. She says, I like being ugly. That way, if you love me, I know that you love me forever. If you know, uh, I can't believe I can't think of the name of the artist because I love her. But if you know it, put it in that. Jesse Reyes. That's it. Found it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, it's, it's like... For some of you, it's like the stress is piling up to the point where it's like, I got to get away, you know, and, and like maybe you do need to get away. At, le at, at minimum, you need to move away from your negative thinking. See, most of us think that we need to get away, like go on a vacation, get out of our house or move or do some sort of action to get away from our stress. But the thing is, the tricky, tricky thing is, is you kind of follow you wherever you go. So if you're feeling stressed at home, you're going to feel stressed at the beach. It's going to follow you, right? Because it's about the vibrational work. It's not about your physical location. It's not about your physical surroundings. It's about what's going on inside of you. And until you do that emotional vibrational work, that stress, unfortunately, is going to follow you into the next and the next. But... The, the purpose of the reading is to say that there is things you could do here to shift yourself into a better perspective of that, you know, there is an opportunity here, okay, to be grabbed if you don't overthink it, if you don't overstress it. So let's go deeper and see. And go deep, baby. Ten of Wands. The moon. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. So when it comes to the emotional space, there's some heaviness here um, in the heart space. Uh, the moon showing up, but this is your energy, Pisces. So I feel like you're capable and you're able to handle this and still come out on top smelling like roses. Don't get it twisted, right? Um, I heard nobody's the victim here and you know that you're strong, right? So this is like, <sighs> this is like the knowledge that you have within you, Pisces, that you are capable, not just capable, able, not just able, worth it right <laughs> and yet 
there's hesitancy here. There's like this standoffish energy here. It's like knowing that you're capable of more and believing that about yourself and then at the same time holding yourself back for whatever reason. And maybe, I'm sure if you're watching this and it's resonating, you know the reason why, so I'm not going to go into that. But it's like, I feel like the hesitancy is around how much work or change would have to occur or come with this. Oftentimes we hold ourselves back because we think something's going to be really difficult. And what's funny about that is we hold ourselves in difficult situations for fear that a change will be difficult, but you're already sitting in that energy. So what do you have to lose? You know what I mean? It's like, well, I don't want to give up what's certain but miserable because change may be difficult. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> so it's like, it's nonsensical, but yet like all of our brains do this, you know, where we hold ourselves in a state of uh, unhappiness and we refuse to change self or the circumstances even though we know we're capable because uh, for lots of reasons right but mostly because change is not easy okay but sometimes change is necessary in order for you to have this growth in order for you to have this abundance that wants to pop through here for you. So the only thing limiting you right now, whether this is about a job change or career opportunity or a relationship change, the only thing holding yourself back is you. Page of Cups, the Empress. Yeah, there's almost like this innocence here as well. Ooh, nine of swords and the three of swords. Hold on a second. three of swords is whoa seven of pentacles strength card ace of wands the fool page of wands so pisces the storyline here is pretty simple which is you know the source wants you to believe in your capabilities not your de uh, perceived defects because god source your higher self never sees you as anything but whole and perfect so when you see self in a limited light that your higher self does not see you in you feel the deviation of that through your emotional response you never feel as bad as you do when your thoughts are not in alignment with how your higher self sees you and so when you believe yourself limiting beliefs or you hold yourself back for whatever reason you feel the repercussions of that emotionally. So it's like, believe in yourself here, Pisces. There are brighter days ahead of you and new chances here. Um, possibly new connections, because that's come out a few different times. But there's also this encouragement twice now to take better care of yourself and to communicate your emotions, especially when you're hurt. You know, some of you have been maybe like patiently waiting or plugging away. In the meantime, you've got these emotions going on that maybe are not being fully expressed. And if you don't express, they may get the best of you. But I feel like for the most part, it's like some of you are in this space too, just like, all right, I'm not gonna focus there anymore. I wanna focus on the things that make me feel stronger that I'm passionate about, that have expansion and opportunity in them. 
and you're headed in that direction. So it's almost like once you stop um, fixating on whatever's bothering you and you look towards what could be better or an improvement and you believe you deserve that improvement, things begin to improve rapidly. So let's see what the guidance is here and we're gonna go to the you versus them. You have the card of cleanse and you are not alone. Uh, again, this is another reminder to pay attention to your body, mind, and your soul, to, to take good care of self, to take a moment or a day to cleanse. And then this is a reminder here that through all the sadness and loneliness, uh, we have never left you. You cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we're sending, but we are here walking beside you. We are your guides, your angels, and your higher self. So you're never alone on 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 this earthly plane. You always have guidance available to you and support available to you, Pisces, but it's not outside of you. It's right inside here. So, wow, very interesting start. We're gonna go to the you versus them and see how it plays out um, in that reading. So, see you in a minute. And welcome back to the you versus them portion. Pisces, we're gonna go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Uh, keep in mind it is a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip it if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So you have the fourth house here, uh, Cancerian energy and Gemini energy. That could be in your chart, the chart of the person or people you're connecting with. And or it's just the influencing vibes. But again, and this was highlighted in the spiritual reading, this is talking about family, home, your social circle, um, friendship, okay, um, your interpersonal relationships, your inner world, and also taking better care of self, which is was all highlighted in the first part of this reading. Now, um, this could also talk about, on the flip side of that, being a little bit restless, fidgety, sometimes anxiety, so um, something to be aware of. You have the Knight of Swords and your overall energy. Is that my favorite card in this deck? Like in general, Knight of Swords talks about communication, but in this deck, it talks about drama. Okay, so drama, drama for your mama. This could be related to this person or your social circle or the family because all of that is highlighted here. But take it as it resonates. This person has the Ace of Swords. Page of Wands and the King of Wands, but that was in the reverse. And the first thing I heard is they're out of ideas. Okay, out of ideas on how to stay in control of something, all right? Um, and yet they have the Ace of Swords here. So there is clarity coming to this person, even though they may feel that they have hit some sort of wall when it comes to this connection or possibly just like in general but let's see uh recent past energy pisces for the person you're connecting for you and then the person you're connecting with yeah and i kept getting this message too in the spiritual reading about you know hitting um hitting a wall with something actually i saw an image of somebody hitting their head on the wall like headbang <laughs> like oh my gosh you know that type of energy so i see it again in the recent past where it may have felt like all right things are moving forward and then stops you know things get stagnant um, some of you, it's like what you were moving towards wasn't necessarily good for you and you knew it, you felt it and it caused you to kind of pull back. Um, and that was a good thing because sometimes things don't feel right for a reason, right? And then it's followed by the star. So there's some sort of hope returning or healing that wants to come in for you during this time frame, Pisces. So let's see this person's recent past. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. So, this person, Pisces, 
has been in the space of maybe heavily trying to invest in, uh, I heard what's good. Okay. And to what's good, or actually it sounded like somebody was greeting me, like what's good, what's good with you, like what's going on with you, I don't know if somebody says that a lot, but you have, <laughs> this person's focus primarily has been on their own money, you know, finances, uh, investments, um, themselves, right? Um, and there's the eight of cups here. So I feel like this person has kind of placed some emotional distance, um, or, and that could be from you or someone they're connecting with. I'm sorry if you hear my puppy crying, he wants in. Um, but yeah, I just kind of get like this closed off energy here with this person where it's like their, their focus is all about them. Now that could be a good thing, but it could also be like a selfish thing. I mean, I guess you know who you're dealing with. So it's either a self-love or a selfish thing. It's a thin line, you know. <laughs> but um, I feel like because their focus has been on self, it's placed, it's almost like they've kind of moved away from their emotions or like become emotionally distant because of that. Let's go into the now energy and see what your perspective is on each other. Oh, I cannot stand to hear him cry. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> he was crying at the door and I felt so bad for him. So I just thought Doc would say hi. Say hi, Doc. Hello. All right, he's gonna hang out by my feet and probably chew on them while we finish up here. All right, so <laughs> how do you see each other in the current energy? Here we go, Four of Cups, Perception, Core of my Pisces. Some of you feel kind of apathetic towards this person. I almost heard like some of y'all just flat out don't care. You know, um, some of you, it's that you care, but it's like exhausting. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. I'm getting another song. Oh, no, no, it seems to go. But you don't know what you've got till it's gone. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. All right, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's, it's interesting to me, Pisces, because it's like you have your feet on solid ground and there's all of this cooperative, like supportive energy coming through and... For some of you, you have a firm foundation and yet there's so much confusion and maybe even like illusions around whatever you've got going on with this person. And it's just like, it feels concerning to me, but at the same time, I feel like you detaching or maybe this person has and, and at the same time, not really because there's dwelling going on here. There is like a focus on material things. It's like there's a focus on material things, but yet emotionally things quite, aren't quite that solid. You know what I mean? Like could be you're in a solid situation, job, surroundings, but on an emotional level, it's a bit confusing to me. Some of you are confused by this person, you know, um, like sometimes they're cooperative and sometimes they're hard to figure out, you know. So let's see their perception. Nine of Wands, the star. Oh goodness, that's a whole message right there. Judgment. Then I have the Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles, the Tower and the Eight of Wands. Some of you aren't sure how you're going to get something. No, I'm sorry. Well, this could be you. Some of you aren't sure how you're going to get something off the ground. Now, uh, for others, it's this person. 
not sure. Maybe this person is not sure of how they're going to change something or get something off of the ground. I feel like this person is stressing over a dream that they have and yet they're needing to make a decision that they cannot make because they're not really sure how to go about this or how to even begin to change something that has so much momentum behind it. And you know, it, the hardest thing on this planet to change is our thought patterns because we get so immune, we get so used to our own thoughts that even if they're negative, they start to feel normal or familiar to us, <laughs> right? Like think of all the horrible things we think about as adults that we would have never entertained as children when we were still fully connected to our source. <laughs> we tend to get a little bit darker as we get older. Um, so it's, it's a bit of like, well, this person has a hope, you know, or they want healing, but they don't know where to begin. They may be wanting a change here. Um, for some of you, a change in communication or the style of communication, the way that you speak to each other or something. But again, it's a sense of like, uh, they're giving me another song, that it's all in my head. It's all in my head. Think about it over and over again. Tim McGraw, I think. Go deeper. Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Page of Cups. The Wheel, the Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So in the heart space here, Pisces, I feel like there is an immense amount of restriction going on when it comes to how you're really feeling and what you're communicating. Some of you, you know, aren't, are trying to follow your intuition or like take the higher approach, but you're also kind of neglecting how you feel at the same time. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you feel some kind of way, but you're like, ugh, I just... I don't want to upset the apple car or start anything or stoop to that level. So I'll think the thoughts, but I won't say the thoughts. But the thing is, law of attraction doesn't care what you say. It cares what you think. And, and that's what makes your vibration up. So just because you don't act on something or actually say it out loud does not mean that it is not a player in your vibrational mix, right? So it's like, what really needs to happen is finding some peace with this in yourself and possibly also expressing. But I feel a sense of like lackluster here of, you know, I just would rather be alone with my thoughts rather than communicate something I don't mean, uh, which is fine. That's good as well. Uh, but so take your time to process it if that's what you need. But after you're done processing it, um, if you feel the need to communicate it at that point, I would. I, I feel like because your spread was, um, had the drama card at the crown of it, it is probably best to withhold a little bit. Let's see this person's emotional space. Four of Swords, King of Pentacles. Because it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. What the heck is that song about? Who else is in that? Is it Tim McGraw and Nelly? It's an old song. So, Alright, so <laughs> in this person's heart space, Four of Swords. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. So, this person is also trying to take the more quiet, calm approach. Yet, at the same time, they have the Four of Cups here. 
which is like this emotionally distant type of energy. And I feel like, you know, either you or this person has placed some sort of emotional distance here. Also, both of y'all are kind of ignoring and neglecting your own needs. I don't know why that is. Because you're so, some of you are so fixated on the what's wrong that you're failing to focus on what's right. Okay. Which is easy to do. But I, I just feel like there's something this person is ignoring as well. It's like there's something on offer that's trying to be offered to this person that may be of assistance to them and they're ignoring it. Maybe because they feel they don't need the help or assistance or they don't want it. They're like totally fine with how they are and where things are right now with them. So they're like, no thank you, maybe? See, the thing about the Four of Cups is like wanting what you don't have and not appreciating what you do. And that is a theme here. And I don't know if it's coming from you or them or both. I don't know. You would know. What they say about the grass looking greener. The grass is green where you water it. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the spiritual portion of this page of swords. Ooh, ten of swords, ace of pentacles. And the seven of wands. So this is really similar to the spiritual portion of the reading. Um, and kind of why I'm liking doing the combination of the two because they tend to go together. There is this opportunity here. Okay, Pisces. Big opportunity. But yet there is, it's almost like you don't even see it as such. Some of you are so wrapped up in like the drama of something or overlooking something. Are you okay? There's my puppy. <laughs> or you know what? You know when you like you're just exhausted. So it's like, yeah, maybe there is potential, but I don't have the energy to go towards it. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. It's like you just don't have the energy. It's not that you don't recognize there's potential here. It's not that you don't know things will get better. Of course you do. It's just that you don't have the energy. And that's all right. You should honor how you feel no matter what. It's not about ignoring your feelings or only thinking good thoughts. It's about also understanding your emotions and being all right with where you are and knowing it's going to improve because it always does. But it's a sense of like, yeah, just exhaustion. You know, like on the fence or, you know, feeling like in defense mode for some of you. Um, it's easy to get defensive when we don't feel good. Some of you don't really trust what this person has going on or don't trust something that's going on. Some of you, if there's drama surrounding the connection or if it's coming from an outside party, you're aware of it and... And you think they're full of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like, hey, stop that. Chewing. Sorry. He's happy life. <laughs> he's chewing something over there that he's not supposed to. But underneath all of that, Pisces, there's the Ace of Pentacles. Meaning that there's something to be gained of value here. There's something that wants to come out of this that's whole and right and good. And it has to deal with your social circle, but also your roots, your home, and your family. So let's see what this person has in their future energy. What are you doing back there, you weirdo? <laughs> Temperance, the Ten of Wands. Death and Rebirth, Ace of Pentacles. They have the Ace of Pentacles too, as well as the Hermit card. So this person has a lot going on, you know, a lot of things that they're shuffling around, a lot of things that they're dealing with internally. 
um, a lot of mood and energy shifts going on in this person and and yet change uh, they're giving me the song change by NF where he says um, if you want love you're gonna have to learn how to give so yes there's there's a struggle here that's going on inside of this person. It's a personal struggle that they're having that they need to do some reflection on. But out of this is coming for the both of you an opportunity, an opportunity for expansion, growth, to understand oneself better and to also be back on solid ground. So I feel like whatever this changes, whatever this ending's about, no matter how it feels on the surface or how exhausting it is, it is actually bringing about something extremely fruitful for the both of you. So, wow. <laughs> Intense reading. I'm going to get a guidance card and see where this goes. I don't feel like those were meant to come out. Guidance for Pisces and their person. You have the card of just ask and a child's love. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you. We're made up of divine source, loved ones, friends, guides, and angels, helpers who are waiting. All you have to do is ask. You'd be surprised how many people don't ask their higher self for signs, for messages, for answers, because your higher self, first of all, can never interfere with your free will, meaning it cannot impose the answer on you unless you ask. But if you're open and you're willing and you ask those questions, you're going to be amazed at how the universe convalesces itself around you to give you the answer. And the proof is in the pudding. So don't be afraid to ask for help from your guides, Pisces, whether it's in your mind or through your mouth. However you want to do it, if you want to write it down, it's there for you. And then a child's love. So this is talking about children and how they are the biggest part of our lives, but also our own childhood. There may be children involved here. It could be talking about your childhood as well. And just remembering the innocence and the beauty of that inner child of yours, Pisces. So, wow, beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I think I said convalesce. That's not even a word. Coalesce. <laughs> I just grammar policed myself. Anyways, whatever. You got what I meant. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me tell you zodiac signs you could be connecting with or having your own chart. I've got Scorpio, Virgo, Sagittarius, Scorpio again, Aquarius, Cancerian, Gemini, Aquarius again, Capricorn, Pisces. Those are the primary signs that I'm seeing, but keep in mind it is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, do let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe, 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 so that you don't miss out on any of my content by clicking the subscription button down here. If you haven't gotten notifications of my videos being posted recently, you may have to click the sub subscribe button to unsubscribe and then resubscribe so that it starts giving you the notifications. I noticed that in a couple of my own. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so in the about section. Otherwise, wishing you the very, 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 very best. Until next time. Namaste. Bye.